Greetings guys, uh, welcome back to Magnanimous Minds Lectures Online. Uh, we are back with a new series in the new year, which is uh, Electrical Engineering and four videos. So we'll start by Industrial Electronics uh, Complex Numbers. So one would ask themselves like, uh, what is a complex number? A complex number is a number that consists of two parts, which is a real part, which can be represented as A, and an imaginary part, which is represented as a GB or IB in some instances, whereby it will be written like. But since we are dealing with a uh, electrical components, electronics, we can't use I because I already represents uh, current. That's why we have this G, which is called the J operator. So our J operator is the one that shows us that this is uh, an imaginary number. And this imaginary number or the J operator, it's defined as a square root of a negative number which is negative one so you can define an imaginary number as a square root of a negative number and with this you can further see that g squared equals to negative one so when you square g you get a negative one and then this can be like represented on uh, what you call on a Cartesian plane and to do that uh, we have this Cartesian plane which normally will be y and x-axis but in this case the y-axis becomes the imaginary axis and the x-axis become the real axis and then to represent this you take let's say a point here so you go that way a units so this is going to be a and you go up b units this is going to be b and if you close this it creates a triangle which has an angle here that is angle theta and then you can call this r and then here comes the other form of representing uh, complex numbers because this is a, a certain form which is called a rectangular form. So we can see form of representing complex numbers whereby the first one is the rectangular form which we all know which we are familiar with and the polar form this form is uh, written in this way and the polar form it's written as r this operator and angle theta this operator it's called CIS and this operate what this operator represent it's the angle the face angle like the face angle between uh, that's created right here between the resultant and this components so to get this R since this is a triangle which is a right angle here we use pythagoras and it becomes a squared plus b squared all under square root and theta is given as tan inverse opposite which is b over a which is the adjacent <coughs> sorry for that and in case that uh, you are given the face of form and you have uh, sorry the polar form and you have to 
convert this polar form to the rectangular form what you do is that uh, a becomes uh, r cos of theta and your b becomes r sine of theta and as a result this becomes r cos theta plus g r sine theta so these are the basics the basic forms of a uh, complex numbers and another thing is that like this g represent like the the phase shift or the rotation of our number from the real axis because when a number is in the real axis we see it's in phase but when it moves it becomes out of phase and the g represent how out of phase it is so normally like j itself just means that like there's a rotation of uh, the uh, an anti clockwise rotation of 90 degrees and j squared means there's uh, an addition of another 90 degrees so it's an 180 uh, rotation um, that's it for the basics of complex numbers i think i forgot with the basics with conju with the uh, complex numbers is the conjugates complex numbers uh, a conjugate of a comp complex number let's say you're given a complex number z equals to a plus bj complex number it's written as o and it's given by a and an opposite sign if it's plus a it becomes a minus g and then if it's a minus a a it becomes a plus that's a conjugate and you use this while dividing in rectangular form and that's just about it thanks for watching magnanimous minds lectures online please do subscribe to our channel as well as liking our videos also following us on other social media platforms facebook we are magnanimous minds instagram we are magnanimous underscore minds and twitter we are at magnanimous mean one thank you